We're so content in this world that we think more, we read more about things about this life than we do about our eternal home. We're just renters here, friends. Our eternal home is hereafter. We ought to be thinking much more, preaching much more, looking forward much more to being with Jesus forever. Charles Spurgeon said, a believer, every morning he gets up out of bed, ought to go to the east side of his home and lift up the shade and say, oh, he's not coming yet. John Calvin said, he who does not hanker for the second coming of Christ has made little progress in the Christian life. What about you? Are you, am I, are we living for this life or are we living for the life to come? A queen wants to be with the king. God's people, said Richard Sibbs, the Puritan, God's people are the queen of the king of kings. So that not only does the bride want to be with the bridegroom, but what Sibbs unveils, as well as Thomas Goodwin, so beautifully, is that the bridegroom, Jesus, is longing to be with the bride. Jesus is longing for the day when he can say, here am I, Father, and all those whom thou hast given me, and there will be no empty chairs in heaven. The King of Kings will make us his queen forever and take us into his personal garden, as it were, to live with him forever in the heavenly paradise. And everything, you see, everything will be better in that everlasting marriage than anything was here on this earth.